Catch and release fishing. Been around for some anglers for quite a while, but just about all anglers practice catch and release, whether it's voluntary or whether it's mandatory. For example, if a lake has a size limit on a particular species or a number limit, you catch them, you release them. Intuitively, catch and release makes pretty good sense. You catch fish, you release it, they're back in the population, the fish stay abundant, the catch rate should stay pretty good. That assumes one very essential thing, and that is catchability doesn't change. Catchability, that's the number of fish that's caught with a certain amount of fishing effort. Indeed, there are studies out there that show that catchability does decline with continued fishing effort. In fact, the study we're doing at Mississippi State right now, we found that with successive fishing trips weekly, catch rate declined, even though no fish were removed from the pond. Well, how do we explain this decline in catchability with continued fishing? Learning could be one reason. Some work done at the Illinois Natural History Survey selectively bred fish for high and low catchability. They took fish from a pond. Those that were caught frequently were put in one pond and bred with others that were caught frequently. Those that were never caught or caught only once were bred with other fish that had low catchability. They repeated this for three successive generations. 20 years later, the answer came out. The high vulnerability fish, those that were easily caught, remained easily caught. The low vulnerability fish, however, became very difficult to catch. They were significantly less catchable. Certainly more studies need to be done to test whether catchability indeed is a heritable trait. But it certainly means that catchability of fish will decline in the future with continued fishing. Does that make catch and release bad? No, I think on the contrary, at least with catch and release, we are keeping the highly vulnerable fish in the population and that should increase catch rate or at least keep it high in the future. The more we know about fish, the better we can manage them. That's good for the fish, that's good for fishing.